Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, <clears throat> Feast of Tabernacles, Sukkot, Messianic Psalm. Scripture references out of Psalm 118, verses 25 through 26. Save us, we pray, O Lord. O Lord, we pray, give us success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. Psalm 118 is known as the Messianic Psalm. As part of the Feast of Tabernacles, Psalms 113 through 118 are sung and read. These are called the Hallel Prayer. If you guys are interested, please check out uh, templeinstitute.org slash tabernacles. A uh, link will be provided as well. So we go back about 2,000 years ago when Jesus made his triumphal entry into Jerusalem. The Sanhedrin freaked out. The Sadducees and the Pharisees understood. The people were recognizing Jesus as the Messiah of Israel. All the pieces were in place. The people were waving palms. Jesus was claiming to be a direct descendant of King David. He was claiming to be the Son of God. Crowds were calling on Jesus to be their Savior. And the, the term Hosanna is noted twice in the verses below. And, and Hosanna is a cry. And it means save us now. And so we get the New Testament equivalent of this, Matthew 21, verses 8 through 9. Most of the crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from trees and spread them on the road. And the crowds that went before him and that followed him were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Now, granted, that was in the spring. This event, Tabernacles, takes place in the fall. And I suspect at some point in the future, this will happen again in the fall. Um, now, Jesus knew he would not be accepted as the Messiah at his first advent. Jesus is the rejected stone. Psalm 118, verse 22. Again, all this is out of Psalm 118. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The Apostle Peter makes it crystal clear who the rejected stone is in the book of Acts and in his self-named epistle. In two references here, Acts 4 verse 11, this Jesus is the stone that was rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. 1 Peter 2 verse 7, so the honor is for you who believe, but for those who do not believe. Quote, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Later in the text of Matthew, Christ would lament of his rejection as Messiah over Jerusalem. Matthew 23, verse 39, For I tell you, you will not see me again until you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And here we are today, and we wait for his people Israel to recognize him as the Messiah. But before he returns to earth, this scene will be done in heaven. Recall the words of the Lord's Prayer, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And we know it will be done in heaven, per Revelation 7, verses 9 and 10. After this I looked, and behold, <clears throat> a great multitude that no one could number, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and language, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes, with palm branches in their hands, and crying out with a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. So this this idea of Sukkot and tabernacles and the symbolism, this is gonna it, it's repeated every every fall by the Jews. <clears throat> it eventually be, will be repeated when Jesus comes again. But before it comes before he comes again, it will be repeated in the throne room of heaven per Revelation 7. So if you're interested in this, please feel free to check out paulthepoke.com category, Fall Feasts, Tabernacles, Sukkot, Messianic Psalm are your keywords. Appreciate you guys listening. Thanks a lot. Take care. Have a good day.